Hello Internet. Today we are doing normal double decker bus 183 Golders Green to Pinner. It's done already. <coughs> Are you going out? Sir? Madam, I wait half an hour here. Downstairs is not empty. Downstairs. No, can that gentleman go upstairs? No. No. Otherwise. What about everyone else on the bus? Uh, I cannot judge if they are able or not unable. Can I come inside and go upstairs? That's why the back door is open. If you can fit to the back door, go through the back door. That's why it's open. Um Guys, can you please just use the back door please? Just use the back door. Okay. Okay. Right. 
into Hazelwood Avenue. Just wait on Church Road, Burton, give way to the traffic coming out of Hazelwood Avenue. Then you'll be able to enter it. Thank you, and I'll see you else. I use the back door only. Just look at it. Guys, if you cannot fit to the back door, you cannot come inside the bus. Sorry, madam. Just use the back door, please. Use the back door, not the front one. Go to the back door.
broadcast call to all one being three mobiles, ladies and gentlemen. Very good to you all. Uh, this is Miguel, the route manager on duty today. Now, your colleague team will be uh, implementing an energy service for your is great. This is due to the, the late, the late run, the multiple issues that you've got on the route, ladies and gentlemen. So, the majority of you will be to, to end and belt as required with your services on return. For those of you who are working yesterday, kind of the same plan, ladies and gentlemen. Now, for anyone who's coming off from Pina, just to let you know straight away, the bus will not be controlled away from Pina. If you are going to be a late more relief, probably anyway. So when you change over at Tesco's or at Durham Road, can you please make sure that you let your controller know what time you will be returning so you can regulate the service in your absence. Once you're doing it, tell them from your controller, please, if you make sure that you're actually on your MDT, if you are not calling the controller, that means that you will probably be a through bus to Dolphin Screen. All drivers, once you turn around and hand them bell, you are to call for departure times on a one-to-one -one basis and follow your controller's instructions. Anyone who does not follow will be dealt with accordingly. Thank you, good morning, sir. <coughs> Controllers not very happy tonight. <laughs> it's a busy, very busy, and our traffic lights make it even worse. situation ignore the pedestrians <coughs> because of the traffic lights that are temporary and you know they open only for a couple of seconds less than a minute and after they are closed it's red for maybe two minutes maybe more so <coughs> ignore the pedestrians and the vehicles the cars that are pulling out of side streets they can cross or whatever when it's red and there is the traffic is stopped
Crossing or not crossing? Yes, you are. Over here is just tight, so drive slowly so you can react properly without throwing your passengers around the bus if you have to brake and even if you have an accident and you're driving slowly it's gonna be much less damage done and obviously less dangerous <coughs> Not at the bus stop, when the bus stops there, it simply means that you are late. And if you are late, it's only normal that you will miss your bus. Even though we are not going to schedule at the moment, the schedule doesn't matter. It matters that the bus is stopped there and you are not at the bus stop. So you cannot expect to be on that bus when it stops at the bus stops and you're not there. And yeah, I know, the internet. They're always like, no, you have to wait for them. You have to wait for them. You have to wait for everyone. Because you know, that's Noah's Ark and you have to save everyone. No, if you're late, you're late. It's simple. You being late is not my problem. that people are gonna cover for yourself <coughs> if you are late that's on you if you fucked up that's on you yeah other people can try to help you if somebody have the time and resources 
not at the moment. But today my liter is over there, so I can have bigger gap. But still, I have to account for the fact that there is very big delays. So the less time you waste on bus stops, the more people can go. Can get home on time to make food for their children, to take care of their loved ones. Hendon. Hendon Bell, a very popular destination for the 183 tonight. Very popular destination. Oh, nobody is coming out. Okay. <coughs> yeah, this bus stop is very not used very often. Over here is just tight, so drive slowly. Make sure that you have time to pass around. You're the boss. <coughs> you're the boss and you're the boss as well. So, yeah, that's that. this you can carry out your own assessment Over 
here you can see you're barely fitting on inside the lane like you have literally an inch on both sides so when you see that most of the lanes that they're designed for they're designed for cars because they're designed for cars and you are not a car, you are a bus so with that in mind usually you have to straddle at this point that's only one lane here it's not two lanes but the cars they treat it as if it's two lanes at the moment and obviously they cannot squeeze through but they're trying and when the traffic goes now I will just indicate right and just keep going forward just so they know that there is a bus indicating It squeezes here like towards me. So they have to come towards towards me. <coughs> but you have to always indicate so they know that this is happening. And the bus is gonna be in their way. Well the bus is not in their way actually, but anyway. This van, just don't let him because it's green. I don't care where they are going, but it's green for us. When it goes red and the traffic starts slowing, <coughs> then well, it's still yellow technically. Oh no, somebody's back. Come on, guys, we can do it. Just drive. change to red so don't drive too slow because the traffic lights will decide that you are not there is no cars and when the traffic lights decide there is no cars well they will just close go back to red It's not just the temporary ones, like even the regular traffic lights, when they have a sensor that detects and opens to green when there is cars, even they are checking the speeds of the cars if the traffic is going very slow. Sometimes if they see the I don't know how they work, but I don't know if you're going slow they change to red. Traffic is moving reasonably at reasonable speed, like above 15, <coughs> something like 20. 
they don't even sometimes change back to green, uh, back to red. They stay green for a minute, even more. Some of them, if you're moving, if you're not moving fast enough, they go to red. So you can see a big queue of cars, a lot of cars going to go to a traffic light. <coughs> Try to pick up your speed so it can stay open for longer. So all of you can go to. I don't know what to do. My leader is here. We are not supposed to be doing that. But I don't know. Like at the moment the controllers are the ones that are controlling everything so it's up to them to decide how we run they don't tell me to keep my distance from my leader obviously i'm not gonna at this point in time because the service is not running as usual there is very big delays Anyway. <coughs> I'll upload this video and see the quality on YouTube. If it's okay quality. Maybe I'll make more late videos every now and then, but I will try to do them mostly during the day. Because the camera can make better quality footage. Over here is obviously two lanes, but those two lanes merge, literally, they merge over there. Well, they don't merge over there, but over here you cannot fit two cars, there is a traffic light aisle. So there is still two lanes over here, but there is a park car over there, so you cannot be there. Just block the two lanes. <coughs> like in that area here the moment that you leave you have sometimes you have not even left the bus stop and they press the bell like usually how the bus is run like it's been for the past 15 years you can hear the bus stop name and it, that's usually it almost always plays the bus stop name is announced almost always 
probably 99% of the time and that's the best time to hit the bell and now make sure that you get off on that bus stop because if you hit it now depending on which bus it is like the bell inside the driver cab is not working now because it rings only on the first time when you press the button and I will not hear you pressing it and over here all two we have a notification on our dashboard for the bus stop that notification when the button for the bus stop is pressed that notification just flashes it goes on and off and if I check for a second and that one second it's possible that this notification is in its off state <coughs> so the driver will not just not hear the bell he will also not see the notification if you press too early the bus stop button so try to press your button for the bus stop in timely manner usually that's when you can see the bus stop like you know like when the bus is starting to slow down you know the distance like all of you because it doesn't matter if you're always getting off or on on this bus stop you know how long it takes for a bus to stop at a bus stop like how what's the distance that it needs so just press the button at that distance or a little bit before this way the driver the driver will know <coughs> that he has to start slowing down and he will have plenty of time to slow down here so the driver will have no excuse not to let you off on your bus stop well no excuse we can always find an excuse not to let you off on your bus stop but in general if you are nice towards us we will be nice towards you because that's our workplace because that's our workplace there are certain expectations that this workplace is not gonna turn into a zoo and it's our job as a bus driver it's like it's up to the individual bus driver obviously if they have any standards on their bus but on my bus I don't allow people to have <coughs> arguments or scream or anything like that. Like it, it's just a simple journey. It's not meant to be stressful. Like no fights, no shouting, no stupid shit. There is people with <coughs> different conditions, some of them have heart conditions, some of them have mental conditions and obviously all of them, this bus, they have to be able to travel safely on that bus. And what happens if somebody with heart condition get excited, like he can have arrhythmia or a lot of stuff, so his life can be in danger just because the driver doesn't care to have a bus that is orderly <coughs> and also the small children Now it's pretty late, I don't think there is any children left on the bus, but in general when there is school children on the bus, I do react sharply to people that are doing stupid stuff. 
because young children have to be protected from <coughs> that part of society. Because usually some of them will get scared, most of them do get scared, but there is always a few of them that will actually try to do that on their own at some point. Because who knows, maybe they like it, maybe their brain is different. But and I mean it's different not because it's their fault, it's just their parents that have raised them to be that way. But anyway, enjoy the driving now. We're stuck in traffic, so there's not much driving. Well, yeah, welcome to Kingsbury. Kingsbury, their high street is just designed. just to get off the bus. And it's like, yeah, I can just ignore them, but you have seen that like in the previous video, <coughs> that's the profile of the young children, like at that age, it's important like to communicate with them and help them guide them they have to know that the bus driver like we can help them like if they want to get off the bus just come to the front door and speak with the driver and it really depends on the driver like not all of us are gonna let them because it, it can be dangerous and there is the rules as well Check my mirrors, open the front door. If it's safe, what I see on my mirrors. It's important, like communication, because a lot of them, it, it's mutual. Like some drivers, they just don't care. Like I don't mind letting people like 
of the bus like you are not a prisoner here but as long as you don't safety safely because that's much safer than them opening the back door and then people following and jumping in front of a moving car and in that situation I, there is nothing I can I cannot even close the back door if it's opened by them so they will just jump and I will be watching on the mirror how the car comes and hits them <coughs> at least here at the front door I have some control it opens and closes relatively fast and I can speak to them I can shout stop wait if a car is coming Well, on the back door, there is nothing I can do. They will just get hurt. So when you see stupid shit about to happen, like now, because if they had, if they felt like they want to be mischievous, like they want to do stupid stuff, they will have opened the door anyway. But they decided actually to behave, <coughs> which I appreciate. Traffic light, it's just I don't know how is, does it have any cooldown? Like, it must have some cooldown, but it's literally a couple of seconds. for a couple of meters uh, it's just one so just ignore it and over there as well that's just one lane because if you let a car drive that close to you it's dangerous for them
always in the cage <coughs> when it's that busy because even the two cars or maybe even one car that is gonna pull and enter because they know that you're not going straight you're exiting the roundabout even that can be 5 or 10 seconds saved everyone's journey today and if you don't indicate they will not pull they will not depart and you will leave the roundabout and there you have it time wasted light in the cab. This light is the worst thing. I hate it with passion. <laughs> really hate that light inside the cabin. You are driving at night and every couple of seconds, every couple of seconds, it literally flashes in your eyes very brightly and you're not driving at night like come on why is that torture like your eyes have to be just adjusted for night driving not to be bright light into them at random and that's a stand-up design like it's designed for <coughs> like if you look at it it's literally in your eyes And there is no way to turn it off or anything. You literally have to cover it with a piece of paper or tape or anything. Which I will do after this trip. treat it as two lanes but it's no use to treat it as two lanes because the cars turn right over there after the second line this time nobody turned but it gets really tight over here so just treat it as one lane I mean if you're a bus driver or a lorry driver <coughs> if you're with your car you can comfortably fit
cars coming from that street they have a right of the way actually so be mindful <coughs> that's a lot of bus stops when you stop they have right of the way so that's your blind spot it's very important to check it otherwise as you pull you will smash right in the mail because they have right of the way it's your fault Better than my boss. That's it. <laughs> Let's go. distance properly you don't need to use brakes <coughs> and not just your distance your speed as well after the bridge the road is also tight so I will not take both lanes because I cannot take the both lanes all the time like I'm just letting them now and most of the drivers they know it's tight so you will see I will be in my lane and there won't be a car next to me well unless if they feel suicidal but you will see after the bridge <coughs> They know it's tight, so they don't do it.
like usually there is parked cars there. <coughs> but no, there were no parked cars, so it was enough space for two vehicles to be there. Over there, um, there is a bus here. Okay. Just wait. It's what's it called? H10. H10. H10 from here. Network Control Center. This is a clearance forecast to the 
You know, safety. <laughs> when crazy things happen, they go on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no permission. <laughs> okay? I have to speak one day with them. But if you don't do stupid things like uploading little children or things like that just you know for security if yeah. people are arguing argument or swearing yeah. then i keep it if it's not that i delete everything
Sorry, uh, I don't know. I I don't know my schedule. No, don't worry about it. Get go on the way, my man. I will finish your contact and then come back. Don't worry, you go. Okay, thank you. My shadow. My break is eight. Eight. Oh no, there is like an hour and twenty minutes. Actually, hour and a half. Hour and a half. <coughs> See. I don't know why it's everywhere so busy like it's Tuesday. 
then on Tuesdays it's not supposed to be like crazy busy. Then again it is. So I don't know. And it's red again. Well stop. Actually close it. And if somebody is going in we can move forward a little bit.
roundabouts. Please, everyone that is driving, indicate your direction. Yeah, I know it says if it's painted roundabout, a mini roundabout, you don't need to indicate, but please do. Because, like over here, if you're not indicating that you're turning, I'm just going through. Anyway guys, have a nice day and bye bye.